beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. Today we'll be doing a review on Wild African Hair. And this is a kinky straight um, 16 inch um, lace front wig. Now this wig already came with the knots bleached and everything like that. So I did not have to bleach the knots on this wig at all. All I did was just pluck this wig some more and begin the installation process. And even still, it's like slightly pre-plucked. But I did just go in a little bit more and pluck behind that hairline. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and install that on my client today. I left the wig as is other than bleaching and flat ironing, well, hot combing the roots out. Um, because I want to, you know, press the hair out a little bit on camera so you guys can see how I, you know, straighten out the kinky straight hair. Now for her install, I did do four layers, but I only show one layer on camera. And this right here is after layer number four. I'm just pulling the center of that lace right on um, into, you know, the center of her head. And I'm just taking my time and placing that lace exactly where I need it to be. And I'm just going to have her hold it and just apply some pressure um, to that lace in the front. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And uh, once I do that, I will go ahead and blow dry that lace in you know on the heat setting and then tie it down with that melt belt with that that lace still on there And after blow drying on heat, I'm just going to go ahead and apply pressure, pulling that extra lace forward and just combing the hairline back. And I'm just doing this just to make sure that it's um, attached nice and good. And then I'm going to cut off the extra lace from around the ear so the lace can sit comfortably around her ear before I tie it down with the melt belt. Now, in the meantime, while that lace is melting, I did go ahead and just sew down the back of the wig. I just part off a section and I stretched the wig down and I am just sewing right across. And now that I am done sewing, I'm going to go ahead and remove that elastic band um, so I can begin to cut off the extra lace and tack down um, whatever else is still needed on that lace wig. And for today's style, it will be a simple a side part with some baby hair and... Um, the wig was kind of cut like blunt even already and actually did a really, really good job. So even when I finished her install, I didn't really have to go in and cut um, to, you know, pretty much anything um, like that. Um, I just, you know, um, combed it, flat ironed it, made sure it was all straight. And I just left it like that a little bit past the shoulder length look. So it would just be like a regular side part blunt cut look with uh, baby hairs. But right now i'm just going in with the eyebrow raise and i'm just razoring off all of that extra lace and for today's install it wasn't really anything for me to still tack down um i pretty much got most of that lace down um with the way i applied the glue so that's a good thing but if you do have to you know tack anything down just go ahead and go in and um add more glue as needed till everything has been you know melted on in
So now that it's cut off, I'm just gonna go ahead and begin to part off my side part. And y'all know I like to do curved parts. So I am getting that C part, uh, that C uh, curved part going. And then I'm going to, um, you know, use my glam wax stick and apply that glam wax on the top area where I need to hot comb and begin to press out those roots. Now, for those of you who've never had kinky or straight hair bef uh, before, um, with the kinky straight hair, um, it doesn't get like super, super, super bone straight because it's supposed to give you like that natural look. But um, it does get straight, you know, pretty darn straight. And, you know, depending on the type of flat iron you use or if you're using, you know, a good set of hot tools you can really get it to straighten out really nicely but the purpose of that kinky straight wig is for it to look very natural uh you know more more like human like texture um i guess yeah if that's for it to look just pretty much more natural like instead of that suki suki straight like malaysian and brazilian hair and stuff like that when we use the melanin babies use the um you know that kinky texture it, it just looks really really natural as if it can be your real hair like you know just blowed out and stuff like that so that is kind of the look that you get when you use kinky straight hair but i did like i said you know i love uh, the kinky straight wigs i did a bob on myself before and it's you know down on my channel probably like oh so many videos ago but i did like a kinky straight bob and i loved it because how natural it looks because once you you know press it out it just looks really really good but as you can see even from the roots with me hot combing it how straight it did get from the roots and it's just looking so natural and everything but however i did go ahead and pull down a section for those baby hairs and i just took that tresemme and sprayed across the hairline and i'm just combing back everything behind that hairline so it's nice and smooth and i'm going to go back in once again with that elastic band and um tie down her lace now this time around while that melt bed is sitting i'm going in with my small um flat iron and i'm pressing out that hair i'm just grabbing you know a little small little sections and using my heat resistant comb and just really pressing that hair out and i would focus more on the front uh, for this portion of the video i pretty much did the back off camera but i did want you guys to see um how straight it gets when you apply a lot of heat to it and i did you know use the hot comb first to like hit the roots and now i'm just going in like i said with smaller sections and with that kinky hair it has those little kinks in it but once you apply that here you can see those kinks stretch out and it gives us that really really a uh, nice natural look so i'm just going to show you guys some more how it goes from really really kinky to like that nice natural looking pressed out you know hair type of look so um yeah i think you just need to use like a really good hot tool and you know i used a little bit of heating spray um the fantasia's heat protecting spray and i just spread it on there before i pressed it out but yeah um stay tuned
So I went ahead and pressed the rest of it off camera and this is pretty much what it's looking like after you press it out. Super, super natural looking and I'm just going to go ahead and remove that elastic band so I can begin to style and cut the baby hair. As I mentioned, um, pretty much this wig was already blunt cut enough uh, naturally how it came. So I'm just going to pretty much uh, do the baby hair and, you know, just black spring conceal up the part. It wasn't really nothing for me to cut um off this wig so right now i'm just combing out the baby hair making sure it's nice and soft and i did go in a little bit and pluck some of those hairs out and once i did that i'm just taking my eyebrow razor and um you know razoring off that hair down short and i'm going to use mousse and holding spray to swoop my baby hairs Sakari. 
and as you can see her hair is looking super cute and super soft and natural looking so the final thing that i will have to do pretty much is just like black spray and conceal the part to make it more defined so um i get this question a lot in my videos what is the name of this spray that i'm using to do this part and the name of this spray is called high beams it is high beams and i use the color black they have different different uh different many uh colors of high beam spray you know depending on what color of the hair you're doing for the install or whatever like that but i do use the color black for like natural black hair because the color black brown is always too light like it's way lighter than um the natural brown color so that's why i use that black but i went ahead and concealed that so i hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial let me know what you think about this install down below and thank you guys for tuning in see you next time